Hare Krishna everyone. Hare Krishna dear devotees. So we are here with the next episode of the glories of the holy name. And as we all know this is the month of Purushottam going on and there is great mahima or great glory in a number of ways we can serve Krishna in this month. Actually every day is Krishna's day so every day is auspicious. But to have that enthusiasm going different times of the year we observe different special months and try to serve Krishna in the best possible manner. So like we do all times first we will offer prayers good to guru parampara and then we will start with some music kirtan hare krishna maha mantra and then today is a very special topic again it is about something we deal with every moment we are going to talk about the anarthas prabhu ji is going to explain what anarthas are and he also has a wonderful story he is going to share so let's get started with the prayers and if you have any comments reflections questions feel free to share them om gyana timirandasya gyananjana shalakaya chakshurun nilakam yena tasmay shri gurave namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Sthapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Katamayam Dharati Sapadantikam Mahom Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Pashat Deshatarine Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shiva Sadi Gauravata Vrinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare 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 Krishna So dear friends, how are you all? I hope you are having a relaxing, peaceful Saturday and in many parts of the world, this is evening time as we progress towards um, night time let us not forget we can take shelter of the Lord we can take shelter of Krishna at any time of the day so today we are going to talk about what we go through in our minds in our hearts and it's important to talk about the impediments of these uh, unfavorable thoughts which happen uh, as we are trying to do something like taking shelter we are trying to serve Krishna and the devotees and these thoughts or anarthas come in our way. So it's important we understand whatever acharyas have said about them. So that will help us develop more faith, more enthusiasm and more interest so that we can constantly take steps towards incessant chanting of the holy names so let's come together now all the music lovers let's sing the hari now hari krishna Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. 
happen to you that um, you know you get such thoughts that you want to do something nice for other people and you also get such thoughts that let me first take blessings of the Lord and then suddenly you have a list of things you want to yes. take care of first or maybe you have a situation in life and you're not feeling so motivated or you may be feeling depressed or you may be feeling angry or you are maybe thinking, um, oh, I have enough of everything and I don't think right now is a good time for me to, you know, necessarily go and um, join a temple or uh, join an assembly of devotees or participate in such discussion which helps in spiritual advancement because you thought probably you are not in that age group, you are not old enough, you know. So when we get these kind of thoughts or kind of excuses in our mind, we should understand these are some unfavorable thoughts or anarthas in our heart. And we need to understand what is actually meant by anartha. Mm -hmm. So today's talk, we are going to talk about different stages in bhakti and how we have these different anarthas and how chanting the holy name helps overcome the anarthas in our heart and uh, we have uh, references from Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Charitamrit and there is a beautiful book called Madhurya Kadambani. So um, we have taken reference from all these different books. If anyone of you wants any online link to any of these books, please comment there and we will send you the link so you can read it at your own time also. So. Prabhuji, would you like to explain everyone what is an anartha? I'm talking so much about anartha. Anart. What is an anarth? <laughs> anartha. Artha means something that has meaning, that value, something is useful. An means not. So something that is n does not have any value. This is from a, a spiritual perspective that there are things in this material world that we get or we hold which don't have any spiritual value. That is anartha as explained by Srila Prabhupada. It's interesting, yes. <laughs> something which doesn't have any value, yet we give it so much value. <laughs> something to think about, right? Yes. So, I was reading uh, some of the quotes by some of our Acharyas, and let me quickly share. So, His Holiness Niranjan Swami says, Beware of anathas, they are there to distract us from our unified purpose of serving God, and thus brings disunity amongst us. His Holiness, His uh, Grace Gorangadas Prabhu says, Due to anarthas, a person forgets the principle and gets stuck up with the details. His Holiness Mahanidhi Swami says, Our anarthas are like a layer of ice on the top of a frozen lake covering the waters of Rasa below. And so, now that we understand what these anarthas are, let's quickly take a look at how uh, you know, we have different stages in bhakti and where anartha comes in between there and then we'll talk a little bit more about anarthas. So I'm going to share with you right now a section from Chaitanya Chaitamrit. It says, in the beginning, you know, when uh, a person who is aspiring to serve uh, Krishna, so his devotional life begins. So in the beginning, there must be some faith, some little faith, his shraddha is needed, right? 
then one becomes interested with interested in associating with the pure devotees thereafter one is initiated by a spiritual master guru now we must understand there is a diksha guru there is a shiksha guru right anybody who gives us spiritual knowledge or who we learn from he becomes he is our spiritual guru you know irrespective of age uh, class creed color you know anyone or anybody in creation who we learn from he is our spiritual guru and the person who initiates us with the holy name or fire sacrifice he is our diksha guru and then there is chat guru lord within our heart so there are different gurus in our lives so now thereafter one is initiated by a spiritual master and executes the regulative principles under his orders thus one is freed from all unwanted habits because one has committed over a fire sacrifice they will follow a regulated lifestyle they will chant a holy name so many times you know and he becomes finally fixed in devotional service his devotional life begins properly thereafter one develops taste and attachment to the chanting hari naam or serving krishna this is the way of sadhana bhakti and the execution of devotional service according to the regulative principles okay gradually the emotions intensify and finally there is the awakening of love and this is the gradual development of love of godhead for the devotee interested in krishna consciousness so now there is a stage called anarth nivritti in these different stages there is a stage called anarth nivritti and yes. prabhu ji can explain very nicely further about these stages yes. so bhajan kriya by engaging in devotional service enables us to drive away and basically it is by the mercy of krishna it is the mercy that is needed so we make our endeavor and the mercy of krishna drives away all these anarthas away right so you know from that perspective there is a very nice uh, description given where you know cheto darpanam arjanam chetanam mahaprabhu refers to marjanam is the cleansing process and we talked yes. about the shri shikshashtakam the eight verses yes. ashtakam shri shikshashtakam few days back yes. and prabhu ji is referring to uh, yes. phrase from that cheto yes. darpan marjanam we yes. should never forget that purifying right. or the cleansing of the heart right. so that is where two things are required our endeavor and lord's mercy so shila popad used to give a very nice example to help us understand with this analogy that a father is doing weight lifting every day and the son is watching now we all sons we know that our father was you know when we were small kids they are role models and we are a role model for our children right so one day the son he goes into the weight room and he is trying to lift it ashila prabhu again the father comes and he sees that his son is trying to lift the weights but he is not strong enough to lift the weights so father goes behind the son puts his arms around and lifts the weight so now somebody can ask who lifted the weights exactly is it the son who is lifting the weight or is it the father who is lifting the weight the son if the son had not shown that he is trying to lift the weight the father would not have gone behind to lift the weight right so that's how we understand and damodama is coming so this analogy is again and again reminding us that we have to make our endeavor hoping for lord's mercy and lord as a father sees that we have this you know desire this great desire that strong desire with great determination with patience we are engaging in devotion service to please him he becomes pleased pleased and he gives us prema bhakti the pure devotion service hari krishna so before we again get into the music mode and stay interested let's go through quickly the list of anarthas in our heart yes. our spiritual teachers have identified what are the anarthas in our heart they are lust anger greed, greed envy mm -hmm. what else delusion delusion and attachment and attachment yes. so there are Um, at least six anarthas which are listed yes. and you know by ourselves it is really impossible to overcome them but with humility and sincerity if we take shelter of the devotees if we take shelter of the bona fide guru and we in this way take shelter of lord 
we will be able to overcome the anarthas. So the six anarthas we just listed in Hindi, they are Kaam, Krodh, Lo, Mo, Mad, Matsara. Of these, the first three are very dangerous ones. Lust, anger and greed. Kaam, Krodh, Lo. This lust, anger and greed, Lord Krishna in Bhagavad Gita reveals are the three gates to hell. So we should always try to be very cautious not to be driven by any of these and control our senses. And how do you control your senses? Simply by the chanting of the holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Please join us. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, talked about the stages in bhakti yoga or bhakti process and how anarth nivritti is a very important stage in it and it is one of the most bumpy stormy stage to be crossed now there is quite it becomes quite calm before and after this stage and but this stage is like really choppy waters and troubles devotee face so it's very important milestone in our spiritual journey and we must make all endeavor to cross it. It won't happen automatically. You know what Srila Prabhupada said? In Chaitanya Chaitanya Amrit uh, 23.13, Prabhupada uh, mentioned, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur summarizes this growth of love of Godhead, a gradual process. A person becomes interested in devotional service, some by good fortune. Eventually, he becomes interested in pure devotional service without material contamination. At that point, a person wants to associate with the devotees and as a result of this association, he becomes more and more interested in discharging loving devotional service and hearing and chanting. The more one is interested in hearing and chanting, the more he is purified of material um, contamination so liberation from material contamination is called anarth nivritti that's what we are talking about so this is a test of development in devotional service when one is freed from material contamination his firm faith awakens in devotional service when firm faith develops a taste arises and by that taste one becomes attached to Bhakti. When this attachment intensifies, the seed of love of Krishna fructifies. So, one has, once one has passed through the stage of anarth nivritti, one has, one is able to advance quickly. Now, you know, Shula Sh Vishwana Chakravarti Thakur has said really something wonderful on this subject. Would you like to share? Oh yes. Srila Vishwa Chakrati Pad, he describes that Marichi, son of Brahma, was born from Lord Brahma's mind. So he represents mind. And he had six sons who were known as Shadgarbhas. Shadgarbhas. Yeah, Shadgarbhas were cursed by Lord Brahmaji to become demons in their next life. So they appeared as sons of Kalanemi. And now Kalanemi. Uh, was you know related to Hiranyakashipu, his nephew. So, because there was constant fight between the demons and the demigods, this Shadgarbhas they became afraid and they you know worshipped Lord Brahma. You know they perform austerity and received a boon that they would not be killed by any of the demigods. And the condition was that they would not have to fight. That was Lord Brahma's condition. Don't fight, you won't get killed. So when Hiranyakashipu came to know. He cursed them to be killed by their own father in their next birth. Which is now, Kans, isn't it? Yes. Exactly. So Kaal Nebi was born as Kans. So imagine who these six Shadgarbhas, they were born as the first six sons of? Devaki. Devaki. And Srila Vishnu Chakravarti Pad explained that these six sons represent the six kind of anarthas that we are talking about. Kam, Kro, Lo, Mo, Mad, Matsara. So... You know, they appeared in the womb of Devaki. They were killed by Kans. 
and after them came Lord Sankarshan to make the proper arrangement for the appearance of Lord Krishna. So again, this is where we hear that Lord Sankarshan, he is the Adi Guru, right? So we have to take shelter of a spiritual master under whose guidance we are able to prepare ourselves to make our heart as the suitable home where Lord Krishna would reside so that we can directly have that loving exchange with him. Hare Krishna. Please join us for some more Kirtan. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Chakrati Thakur also explains that there are four types of anarthas according to their origins. Number one, anarthas arising from previous sin. Number two, anarthas arising from previous pious activities. Number three, anarthas arising from imperfectly performed bhakti. And number four, anarthas arising from offenses in devotional service. So now, Anarthas arising from previous sinful um, activities are of five categories and I'm quickly going to name them, okay? There is anartha due to avidya or ignorance, anartha due to asmita or false ego, anartha due to attachment or rag, and anartha due to hatred or dvesh, and anartha due to abhinivesha or acquired nature, due to there is a fear of death or absorption in bodily existence. So now the anarthas which we talked about just now and then there are anarthas arising from offenses. We hear so much about, you know, try to take, do devotional service or bhakti offenselessly. You know, when Ajamil, the Brahman Ajamil who had taken to the sinful life at the last moment of death, when he cried out the name, Narayan. So Vishnu Dutas came and the Yam Dutas came, but Yam Dut could not touch him because they were told that Ajamil cried out the name of Narayan offenselessly. So now, Anarthas, which arise due to offenses, are 10 offenses against the chanting of the holy names. And these are standard 10 offenses against the holy names which most of us, we read them before we start chanting our rounds every day. Now, there are seva aparadhas also, seva offenses, which do not fit in this category, but they are normally overcome in performance of one's devotional service due to the potency of devotional activities. Some example of seva aparadha are, for example, if you enter the temple by mistake, you know, you have shoes on or not offering the aarti or bhoga in time to the deities due to many reasons. So these are also called offenses, seva aparads. Now, however, if one commits seva aparads knowingly, that becomes another offense against the chanting of the holy name. A person who commits the aparad, you know, what are the risks of that? We should know why is it risky? He loses the mercy of the Lord in the name of, in the form of his name and therefore suffers in many ways. But if such a person humbly takes to the appropriate remedies for his offenses, 
which are recommended remedies for each of the 10 types of offenses. He is able to gradually get the mercy of the holy name again and his disease condition is finished or relieved. So, the last and the most damaging offense or aparad is Vaishnava aparad which can destroy even our bhakti. Okay. So, on a positive note, Srila Prabhupada writes, we should do what we should do when we cross the stage of Anarth Nivriti. This is what we should do. By his practical activity, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu informed us how to cleanse our hearts. Once the heart is cleansed, we should invite Lord Krishna um, to sit down and we should observe the festival by distributing prasadam. So this particular um, section which I am sharing with Srila Prabhupada said, this is in context to when Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu engaged everyone in cleaning, which is called cleaning the temple uh, um, surroundings. It's also called Gundi Chap Marjanam pastimes. So he's saying here that we should observe the festival by distributing prasadam and chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He used to teach every devotee by his personal behavior. Everyone who spreads Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Sankirtan movement accepts a similar responsibility. The Lord was very pleased with those who could cleanse the temple by taking out undesirable things accumulated within. It's very uh, symbolical, you know, cleansing of the temple is like cleansing of our hearts. Just like we invite the Lord to reside in the temple, we are inviting the Lord to reside in our hearts. So the Lord was very pleased with those who could cleanse the temple by taking out undesirable things accumulated within. This is called Anartha Nivritti, cleansing the heart of all unwanted things. Thus, the cleansing of Gundicha Mandir was conducted by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to let us know how the heart should be cleansed and soothed to receive Lord Krishna and enable him to sit within the heart without disturbance. So we see now that how important it is that we should cleanse our heart from all the undesirable, unwanted anarthas and by ourselves we may not be able to do it. But with the help of uh, the Lord, with the help of the mercy of the Lord and the mercy yes. of a guru, in the association of devotees, with sincerity, in a mood of humility, we can do that. In a mood of surrender, we can do that. So, let us be very careful as we take the shelter of the holy names to please the Lord. Let us intentionally not commit any offenses or engage in activities which will add to anarthas of our heart. You know, an elephant's bathing, how is that? An elephant goes, takes bath in the river, he takes his dirty mud-filled body, he takes bath in the river and then he comes out and again rolls in the dirt. It's called yes, Kunjal yes. Stan. Mm -hmm. So our devotional life should not be like that, that we chanted, we bathed in the holy names, we cleansed our heart and again we did activities which will contaminate our heart. So we should be careful about that. So now let us all chant together. In a mood of sincerity, in a mood of humanity, let us do some Harinam and then be careful, take some notes. I'm going to give you some really good examples of personalities from our scriptures who were personified examples of these anarthas. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare, 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 Rama, Hare, Rama, 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 Hare, 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 Krishna, Hare, Krishna, Hare, Krishna, Krishna,
Hare Krishna. So, now that we have talked in great length about, you know, what anarthas are, you know, what exactly are six main types of anarthas, where do they come from, and we, how we should be careful, and what is the recommended remedy, let's quickly talk about some wonderful examples in our history um, where we can see how some personalities have appeared to teach humankind how anarthas exist and how Lord has appeared incarnated to take annihilate these anarthas and have loving pastimes with the devotees. So we know about the six births of Jai Vijay representing six anarthas, right? Do you want to tell briefly about Jai Vijay so that then I will tell them about the anarthas, how they yes. appeared as anarthas? Jai Vijay was the gatekeeper in Vakuntha. And once the Chaturkumas, the four sons of Brahma, who just stayed in the farm as five-year-old children, not wearing any clothes, because children, they can wander anywhere, right? If they are naked, they don't care, and people don't care. They understand, these are five-year-old kids, you know, they're small kids. So these were great personalities. And they, while Madhi, you know, were attracted to go to Vakunta, and they were going through gates after gates. So the first six gates they were able to cross, on the seventh gate were these two gatekeepers. So they stopped the four Kumaras. So the four Kumaras cursed them that you are fallen, you should be, you know, on the, in the material world. Hearing this, the two gatekeepers, Jai Vijay, they realized that they have offended great Vaishnavas, so they begged for forgiveness. And at that time, Lord Padmanap Vishnu, he came to the gate and he said that I sanctioned this curse. And by sanctioning that curse, you know, there were uh, situations created where either the gatekeepers Jai Vijay would be born as devotees for seven births or demons as three birds. Not Jai Vijay, they were the gatekeepers, they were the servant of the Lordship. So they always wanted to have this juice with the Lordship, right? But as a devotee, you cannot do that. So they decided that it's better to take three birds as demons because this cycle of birth, death, old age disease is very painful. So they decided three births where they would be able to, you know, have interaction with the Lord. And they also requested Lord's benediction that they should never forget him, right. even though born as demons. Mm -hmm. So that was a benediction was given and Lord himself says, don't worry, I'll come to bring you back. So that's the mercy of the Lord, even for you know, his gatekeepers who are appearing as demons. And so finally, you know, they take. However, there is another two reasons that are also given by Acharyas. First is, the Chaturkumars were not purified fully, they were still impersonalists. So when they were attracted by the Tulsi, then they realized the personal form of the Supreme Personality of God and the Absolute Truth. So they did not enter Vakunta because if they had entered, they could not have gone back. And Lord wanted them to stay out so that they spread the knowledge. And the second one was Lakshmi Devi. She was offended once when Lord Vishnu was resting. The gatekeepers had stopped her. So she complained about them. So by single sanctioning, Lord satisfied everyone. That is the supreme attractiveness of Lord Krishna. So, Hare Krishna. Hal, Hari so this is the background of Jay and Vijay. Okay. So they chose to take six births as demons. And um, so these demons, they represent anarthas. So what are these six demons? Calm or lust, crowth or anger, lobe or greed, matse or envy, mother or madness or illusion, and moh means false pride. These six enemies are the demons looking within the hearts of all of us. And the Vedic literatures, they explain how the six demons have been personified historically by various great asuras. And they are so powerful that they conquered not only each and every living man, but they conquered the entire universe. So the personification of the pride was, write in comment if you know. And if it's difficult for you, I will tell you. The personification of the anartha called pride was Hiranya Kashipu. A proud person loves to be adored and 
he cannot tolerate anyone else to be adored so hiranyakashipu was supreme example of the, in throughout the history and he understand that his potency of pride was so great great that he could he conquered the entire universe even the demigods were in fear that the he has the power of false pride they all had to approach who krishna krishna only you can save us the demigods prayed to krishna so krishna appeared as lord narsinghadev and with the weapon of his strong nails he destroyed the pride of hiranyakashipu and he ripped into pieces and then then is the example of hiranyakash hiranyaksh so these are the six births of vijay and jay they were the associates of the lord in vaikunt and prabhu ji just explained everything so hiranyaksh had the anartha of greed so what happened was he was literally exploiting all the gold on the earth he wanted more and more power more and more wealth and there was never anyone so greedy as hiranyaksh hiranyakashipu and hiranyaksh were asuras who were brothers so this greed impelled him to have such tremendous power he conquered the universe no one could stand before him and he was going to each of the demigods with his mighty club and he was challenging them they all even refused to fight in fear they said only they said that only one person can destroy you that's lord vishnu so they prayed to the supreme personality of godhead and lord appeared as lord varaha de that's the incarnation and what did he do with the mighty tusk he stabbed this demon hiranyaksh and with his mighty paw he clubbed him behind the neck and he destroyed him we will carry on the remaining anarthas we have covered the anartha of the greed and the anartha of lust now let's go to harina and then we'll be back with the remaining anarthas hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 rama hari rama 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 hari 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 krishna hari krishna personification of pride and greed and now we are going to talk about who was personification of lust ravan the shara is around the corner and so we all know about ravan he was the personification of lust why let's understand that lust is that propensity that makes you want to enjoy what belongs to god everything of this earth is property of god and all glorious things in the creation are expansion of god is of fortune and so we all know that lakshmi devi is the goddess of fortune now ravan was such a lusty personality that he was not content by simply enjoying the energy of the goddess of fortune he had lot of riches he had lot of wealth so these are energy of the goddess of fortune he wanted the goddess of fortune for himself sita devi for his own demonic purposes so lord shri ram chandra with his weapon of mighty bow and arrow destroyed the personification of lust now kumkaran his brother he was the personification of illusion and what was that illusion he used to sleep throughout the year and he would just get up and drink blood and he would eat flesh and he was completely in the mode of ignorance okay so 
but he was so powerful and he was in illusion that he wanted to empower over everyone when the uh, monkeys saw that the kumkaran is coming they were all running in fear my god it looks like he's going to devour the entire universe and he was only the mighty weapon of shri ram chandra's bow and he there was they were able to sever his arms and sever his head and kill this great demon another example is dantavakra dantavakra was personification of anger and he was so angry with krishna that he began to roar and scream and chip the whole universe and he began to run at krishna to kill him no one had ever seen such an anger let's talk about shishupal shishupal was the personification of envy so he was so envious of krishna and from time of his birth he could do nothing but find faults in krishna and when he heard anyone glorifying krishna what did he do shishupal you know about shishupal so prabhu ji covered all the leelas in uh, canto 10 and um, so when he heard everybody glorify krishna it was very painful to his heart he could not bear it krishna um with his sudarshan chakra killed this demon so this is how uh, lord took care of all these enemies or anarthas which represent anarthas in our heart now knowing about these anarthas and we have been uh, chanting the holy names we should understand that there is a very powerful weapon in the current kali age times and that is why lord chaitanya consider, is considered the most munificent and merciful of all incarnations his weapon is most powerful and just what ram lord ram did with his bow and arrow what krishna did with his sudarshan chakra and what lord narsingha dev did with his nails lord varha did dev did with his tusks the supreme personality of godhead lord chaitanya mahaprabhu has done infinitely more without killing anyone what has he done his ashtra is the holy name and the holy name has the potency to kill all six of these demons simultaneously for those of you who are just joining this talk Uh, this is for your reference earlier in san- since past half an hour we have been talking about anarthas in our heart and the ultimate remedy of the holy names and so lord chaitanya when he appeared you know uh, just like jay and vijay they appeared as jagai and mathai and they possessed all the qualities of six anarthas or demons in full they were so wicked and more cruel than any of the six demons and when they appeared in uh, they took uh, they appear they were enjoying together in the form of jagai and mathai and lord chaitanya mahaprabhu with the holy name he did not kill them what did he do he killed the demonic quality within them and transformed them into the pure devotees of the lord so in this age kali age everyone is essentially like jagai and mathai and therefore lord uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu has appeared with the most illustrious weapon of the holy name to deliver all of us the only qualification needed is we should accept his mercy and even if we are the lowliest sinners amongst the sinners lord chaitanya mahaprabhu does not consider what we have done or what we have been doing he only considers one thing what is that are we willing to accept the holy names if we are willing to accept the holy name we will go back to godhead in this very life after this very lifetime but we must accept his simple instructions shikshashtakam shri shikshashtakam please come back to it if you know the li- if you want the link to the document i would be happy to send you that so taking benefit of these beautiful teachings of our spiritual teachers we can offer some beautiful prayers which i am going to uh, read out to you right now and before we do that what are we going to do we all love music <laughs> so let's sing some holy names hari krishna hari krishna krishna 
just discussed about the personalities and about the category of offenses and the anarthas within our hearts and how it's important we take care of them if we want to make spiritual advancement and now we are all going to chant together the holy names get your japas Hare japa Krishna. bags your beads and if you don't have it just listen to us because yes. that is also bhakti krishna is bhavagrahi janardan he sees the bhakti, the intent in our heart. And before we start doing this japa, let me uh, read aloud to you these beautiful prayer lines by His Holiness Mahanidhi Swami. This is also a section from Sadhak's prayers from the art of chanting. Once you listen to this or read this, and then your mood is automatically beautifully aligned to chant the holy names in a proper mood. O Krishna, you dwell in the hearts of everyone. You dispel ignorance and you are all merciful friend of all. Let me remember you always. You are my father, my mother, my friend, my lover, my relative and my only wealth. You are everything to me. You are my maintainer, protector, advisor, master, source of strength and my eternal guide. Let me be free from lust, anger, greed, envy, hatred, and pride. O Damodar, prepare me to be your sweet messenger on this earth. Use me to radiate spiritual love, peace, and joy to the whole world. May I love others as I love myself. So now, let's do the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. And uh, before we do that, we are going to um, chant the Panch Tattva Mantra like we always do. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Radha Shiva Sadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda I will put on the video of Prabhupada and we will chant with him. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Krishna
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, 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 Hare Hare,
to such doubts, it is said here that even if one is not free from sinful reactions, simply by the process of surrendering to Krishna, he is automatically free. And there is no sternness effort needed actually to free oneself from all this kind of anarthas and sins. One should without fear, without hesitation, accept Krishna as the supreme savior of all living beings. And with faith and love, one should surrender to him. And in Kali age times, what has been recommended? Would you like to share? How do we surrender to Krishna in Kali age? Thinking oneself to be lower than the grass on the street, more tolerant than the tree, ready to give all respects and not expecting any respect for oneself. One can chant Kirtanya Sadahri, glorify the Lord constantly. Now here the keeper of bhakti was discussed. And these anathas are like weeds. So when they are weeds in your garden, they are taking away all the nutrition and water from the soil. So the keeper in our heart is not able to fructify and grow. So For important. those of us who love gardening, you will really be able to relate to this. How, you know, when you are doing gardening, time to time there are weeds around our main uh, thing we are trying to take care of. And we have to clean these weeds timely. So Prabhuji is explaining similarly, our creeper of devotion, we have to protect it from the weeds. And the process of uprooting these weeds is chanting of the holy name. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. I hope we all benefited from the talk today on Anarthas and this is a very actually elaborate subject and we will come back with more uh, ideas and thoughts on this topic. Till then, happy chanting, chant and be happy. Hare, Hare Krishna. Krishna.